Phenylzine, Nardil, Nardilzine, is a non-selective and irreversible monoamine oxidase inhibitor, M8OI, of the hydrazine class which is used as an antidepressant and anxiolytic. Along with tranylcypromin and isocarboxazid, phenylzine is one of the few non-selective and irreversible MAOI still in widespread clinical use. It is typically available in 15 mg tablets and does as usually range from 30 to 90 mg per day, with 15 mg every day or every other day suggested as a maintenance dose following a successful course of treatment. Phenylzine is used primarily in the treatment of major depressive disorder, MDD. Patients with depressive symptomology characterized as atypical, non-endogenous, and or neurotic respond particularly well to phenylzine. The medication is also useful in patients who do not respond favorably to first- and second-line treatments for depression, or are treatment-resistant. In addition to being a recognized treatment for major depressive disorder, phenylzine is effective in treating dysthemia, bipolar depression, BD, panic disorder, PD, social anxiety disorder, bulimia, and post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Phenylzine is a non-selective and irreversible inhibitor of the enzyme monoamine oxidase. MAO. It inhibits both of the respective isoforms of MAO, MAOA, and MAOB, and does so almost equally, with slight preference for the former. By inhibiting MAO, phenylzine prevents the breakdown of the monoamine neurotransmitters serotonin, melatonin, norepinephrine, epinephrine, and dopamine, as well as the trace amine neuromodulators such as phenethylamine, tyramine, octopamine, and tryptamine. This leads to an increase in the extracellular concentrations of these neurochemicals and therefore an alteration in neurochemistry and neurotransmission. This action is thought to be the primary mediator in phenylzine's therapeutic benefits. Phenylzine and its metabolites also inhibit at least two other enzymes to a lesser extent, of which are alanine transaminase, ALAT, and gamma aminobutyric acid transaminase, GABA-T, the latter of which is not caused by phenylzine itself but by a phenylzine metabolite phenylethylide anhydrazine, PEH. By inhibiting ELAT and GABA-T, phenylzine causes an increase in the alanine and GABA levels in the brain and body. GABA is the major inhibitory neurotransmitter in the mammalian central nervous system and is very important for the normal suppression of anxiety, stress, and depression. Phenylzine's action in increasing GABA concentrations may significantly contribute to its antidepressant, and especially, anxiolytic slash antipanic properties, the latter of which have been considered superior to those of other antidepressants. As for ALAT inhibition, though the consequences of disabling this enzyme are currently not well understood, there is some evidence to suggest that it is this action of the hydrazines, including phenylzine, which may be responsible for the occasional incidence of hepatitis and liver failure. Phenylzine has also been shown to metabolize to phenethylamine, PEA. PEA acts as a releasing agent of norepinephrine and dopamine, and produces effects very similar to those of amphetamine, though with markedly different pharmacokinetics such as a far shorter duration of action. Phenylzine's enhancement of PEA levels may contribute further to its overall antidepressant effects to some degree. In addition, phenethylamine is a substrate for MAOB, and treatment with MAOIs that inhibit MAOB such as phenylzine have been shown to consistently and significantly elevate its concentrations. Like many other antidepressants, phenylzine usually requires several weeks of treatment to achieve full therapeutic effects. The reason for this delay is not fully understood, but it is believed to be due to many factors, including achieving steady-state levels of MAO inhibition and the resulting adaptations in mean neurotransmitter levels, the possibility of necessary desensitization of autoreceptors which normally inhibit the release of neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine and also the upregulation of enzymes such as serotonin and acetyltransferase. Typically, the therapeutic response to MAOIs is associated with an inhibition of at least 80 to 85% of monoamine oxidase activity. Phenylzine is administered orally in the form of phenylzine sulfate and is rapidly absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract. Time to peat plasma concentration is 43 minutes and half-life is 11.6 hours. Unlike most other drugs, Phenylzine irreversibly disables MAO, and as a result, it does not necessarily need to be present in the blood at all times for its effects to be sustained. Because of this, upon phenylzine treatment being ceased, its effects typically do not actually wear off until the body replenishes its enzyme stores, a process which can take as long as two to three weeks. Phenylzine is metabolized primarily in the liver and its metabolites are excreted in the urine. Oxidation is the primary routine of metabolism 
and the major metabolites are phenylacetic acid and parent hydroxyphenylacetic acid, recovered as about 73% of the excreted dose of phenylzine in the urine over the course of 96 hours after single doses. Acetylation to N2-acetylphenylzine is a minor pathway. Phenylzine may also interact with cytochrome P450 enzymes, inactivating these enzymes through formation of a hemoduct. Two other minor metabolites of phenylzine, as mentioned above, include phenylethylide anhydrazine and phenethylamine. Common side effects of phenylzine may include dizziness, blurry vision, dry mouth, headache, lethargy, sedation, somnolence, insomnia, anorexia, weight gain or loss, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, urinary retention, medriasis, muscle tremors, hyperthermia, sweating, hypertension or hypotension, orthostatic hypotension, paresthesia, hepatitis, and sexual dysfunction, consisting of loss of libido and anorgasmia. Rare side effects usually only seen in susceptible individuals may include hypomania or mania, psychosis, and acute liver failure, the last of which is usually only seen in people with pre-existing liver damage, old age, alcohol consumption, or viral infection. The MAOIs are infamous for their problematic food restrictions and drug interactions. Hypertensive crisis may result from the overconsumption of tyramine-containing foods. As a result, patients on phenylzine and other NAOIs must avoid excess quantities of certain foods that contain tyramines such as aged cheeses and cured meats, among others. Serotonin syndrome may result from an interaction with certain drugs which increase serotonin activity such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, serotonin releasing agents, and serotonin agonists. Several deaths have been reported due to drug interaction related serotonin syndrome, such as the case of Livy Zion. As is the case with other MAOIs, there is a concern regarding phenylzine in the use of both local and general anesthetics. Anyone taking phenylzine should inform their dentist before proceeding with dental surgery and surgeon in any other contexts. Phenylzine has also been linked to vitamin B6 deficiency. Transaminases such as GABA transaminase have been shown to be dependent upon vitamin B6 and may be involved in a potentially related process, since the phenylzine metabolite phenylethylide anhydrazine, PEH, is a GABA transaminase inhibitor. Both phenylzine and vitamin B6 are rendered inactive upon these reactions occurring. For this reason, it may be recommended to supplement with vitamin B6 while taking phenylzine. The pyridoxine form of B6 is recommended for supplementation since this form has been shown to reduce hydrazine toxicity from phenylzine and, in contrast, the pyridoxal form has been shown to increase the toxicity of hydrazines.